What do you think? Does time heal all wounds? I'm going to have to give that one a hard no because I don't fundamentally believe that time does heal all wounds. Because when we say that time heals all wounds, what we're saying is that we fundamentally believe that if we just wait long enough, that our grief will lift and we will heal. We'll feel better. We'll be happy again. Here's the problem with that thought, is that it doesn't have any action associated with it. Because the one thing that I've learned the most about grief is that in order to heal, you need to be able to be in action. And what I find is that the clients that I work with who actually put in the most effort, actually heal the most, heal the most quickly, and create and find new meaning and purpose. They, they understand their grief. They understand why they grieve. They understand what their grief means to them and what they learn from their grief. And I think that that's really the magic of the grief process. So does it really make a difference? Well, first of all, I'd say yes. I think it does make a difference. The people that I work with have a lot of courage. They are willing to look within. They're willing to come to a group with other people who are also grieving and kind of put it out there. Um, so courage is definitely important. I also think that they're willing to put in the effort and put in the work. And we explore our emotions. We look at the five stages of grief and what they mean and how depression shows up and what is anger and how does that show up in grief and what do you do about it? How do you process all the feelings that you have now that your loved one is gone? How do you, how do you move forward? when you've lost a child, when you've lost a spouse, when you don't really know who you are anymore because that person was such an important part of your life and now they're gone. So you, you have to redefine who you are as a person and what that means to you. And you have to ask the question, why are you even still here? And these are, these are difficult questions, necessary for sure, but difficult. And the more you lean into them, the more you educate yourself on grief, the more answers you will find. It's about looking at the hard things, the things that stop you, the things that challenge you, the things that literally keep you up at night and wondering why this has happened to you and what this is all means. And it's about eliminating the people that aren't good for you in your life as you grieve. It's about setting up boundaries for the people who are still in your life and how they're gonna treat you as you go through the process. It's about learning how you can contribute to others. As you start to come out of your grief process, you know, so many people that I've talked to have said, I'm a different person now because of my grief. I'm more compassionate than I used to be. I'm more thoughtful when I see someone else who they themselves are in grief.
grief is about change and we don't like change. We as a society don't like change. We as a human species do not like change. And so we really have to be able to be okay with change or at least lean into a little bit. Because for those of us who don't want the change, who dig in our heels and who decide that they don't want to heal, they stay stuck. And so yes, grief and grieving is work that takes a lot of courage and commitment. And it's a willingness to do that work, to get vulnerable, to lay it out there, to maybe cry in front of other people, to share the things that are the hardest, but also the most important to you. No one wants to talk about feeling guilty. No one wants to talk about the shame that we feel that we don't want anyone else to know about. But these are all things that are necessary as part of the healing process. It's about making sense of it all and deciding what's going to be next. So how do you lean in and do the work and decide what's gonna be next for you? What's your life going to be like now that they're gone? What is it going to mean? Where are you going to go? It's redefining who you are as a person. And so there's a magic in grief recovery, in grief healing, that I think a lot of people take for granted, or maybe they don't know is there. It's a beautiful opportunity to become more of who you are, decide who you want to become. And it's about learning the gifts that you have that you can give back to the world. Because in the end, it's learning that we are all connected and that we aren't silos and that we need each other, no matter how much we want to try to isolate and be a silo. We are all connected. One humanity. One experience on this planet. And it's the togetherness that helps us heal. And so asking the question, So going back to the question, does time heal all wounds? It's not time that heals wounds. It's the work. It's the effort. It's the willingness to look within and decide that you want something more for you. So I want to invite you to reach out to me if that's important to you. you want to be the next courageous soul, if you want to make a meaning out of the situation that you're in, if you want to find your path to happiness after loss.